G'day ice cream lovers, Steve Christensen's my name, the ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster down here at Scoop School. Uh, thank you for watching this video. It's a pleasure to bring it to you. Uh, I don't bring it to you by myself. We have a partner in this video called, uh, well, it's the Chocolate Shop Ice Cream Company. We like to call them Cho Show for, uh, for short. Those that are kind of connected in the ice cream business call them Cho Show. Anyway, chocolateshopicecream.com, that's S H O P P E, chocolateshopicecream.com. Link down below. Look, they make a huge amount of ice cream, very high quality ice cream. You can use it for catering, you can use it to stock your own ice cream stores, uh, supplies, and sell chocolate shop ice cream. Uh, they can give you the branding, you can just sell it under your own brand. Great people to deal with, they make a great product. Dave and Sarah Dedman and Chuck is out the back there uh, working the employees and basically churning some great ice cream. Chocolateshopicecream.com, link down below. Thank you for your episode sponsorship. Now, a lot of people get confused with, when they're getting set up for their store, they're kind of getting ready to open, and there's really no a perception as to well, what sizes should I uh, should I offer, what prices should I uh, uh, set my pricing at. And look, it's a pretty common thing where you would go around to other ice cream shops in your area, some of the other competitors that you may have, and then uh, kind of look at where their pricing is. But you can't take a scale around, so you can I guess you can take their cup with you and kind of look at different cup sizes. Uh, we've got a video on cup sizes. Uh, in the uh, podcast here, uh, but as a general rule, anytime you walk into any ice cream shop in the United States uh, and you say, just give me a regular ice cream, just a regular serve, that serving is about five ounces, give or take one ounce. So use that as the benchmark for everything else that goes on top of that. So if you're looking at maybe having a regular serving that's a little bit more, or a little bit you want to be known for big uh, servings, you may want to do a six ounce. Now this is six ounce by weight. A six ounce regular serving, um, and then maybe build three ounces on top of that. So your regular might be six ounces, your medium might be uh, nine ounces, your large might be 12 ounces. Um, or you might want to back it down and maybe just do two ounces on top of that. But generally speaking, as a foundational start point for all of your regular or your... People are moving away from single, double, triple scoop, but you generally uh, medium, sorry, regular, medium, large. Uh, but use about five ounces by weight, not including the cup, for your, uh, your, your regular servings and I think you'll be right on the money. The only place that that changes really is if you're looking at gelato, where typically a regular serve is about three ounces because it's much more rich and intense, um, and so you don't need the mass of uh, ice cream that you do with, say, premium ice cream or custard. So anyway, look at five ounces as the benchmark for your regular servings. Build on there, maybe take a couple of ounces off for your kid's scoop, up to you. But if you start on that five ounce benchmark, that's where really most of the other ice cream stores and ice cream businesses, frozen dessert businesses in the United States are. Uh, so that's it for this episode, nice quick one. Thank you again for Cho Show for uh, sponsoring this episode. And if you have any questions, quandaries, or uh, concerns about the ice cream business, drop us a line, steve at scoopschool.com or go to scoopschool.com and uh, fill out a little form there. We'd be happy to contact you. Keep on scooping, folks. See you in the next video.